what's up, what's up? Just chilling here, rolling up this joint, answer a few of these questions that I asked you guys to uh, ask me on social media, Facebook, good old Instagram. And I got my lovely helper helping me. She got the questions, so I don't really know what they are. I've seen some of them, but I don't know what order, like I don't know them all. So hit me with some and I'll try to answer them the best I can, I guess. Where were you born? I was born in Humboldt, in Arcata, a small little town where weed grows and uh, hippies roam. Did you go to college? <laughs> I went to college. I went to Humboldt State and uh, graduated with a computer information systems degree. I don't know how I got my degree. I don't know how they gave it to me. I still wake up with nightmares like I missed class because I never wanted to go. I just wanted to stay home and make beats. But somehow I got through and they gave me my degree. They probably just wanted me to get the hell out of there. But yeah, I finished. It was great. If you weren't into music, what do you think you would be doing? Ooh, that's a good one. Probably be super nerdy computer dork programmer or something. Shout out to Corey. Probably sitting on computers in a cubicle and, um, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. If I never did music, that, yeah, I'd probably be trying to do something like that. Or maybe I'd just be growing weed. Don't know. Do you prefer to smoke flour, dabs, or hash? I'm old school, so I definitely prefer flour on the regular bong hits and joints are my favorite for sure. What are the, th the little terrible thing? Pipes are terrible. I just hate them. I know you like them. Some people like them. Sometimes they're all right, but I just feel like they don't do the right thing. Flower one dabs on occasion when I'm feeling like, yo, I'm in the studio and I want to just get into something and focus super good. I, I find a dab. Hash on a joint every now and then is dope. So I like it all, but I'd say flower number one. Who inspired you to become a rapper? I think it was just that I really liked music and I never thought I was going to be a rapper. I just liked the music because it had some feel to it. It was some meaning behind it, you know, power behind it. Because when I grew up getting into rap, it was like Public Enemy and um, Immortal Technique came after that. And the shit that I used to like had some, had some like a lot of meaning to it, as well as it had the bump and the just talking shit and the just good bragging and bullshitting. Um, you know, get get the energy out. So I liked a lot of that type of shit. But then, uh, really, Eminem was the one who made me think. Uh, after you could, I started DJing and I started making beats. Then when Eminem came out and started rapping about fucking getting thrown into a locker and you know getting beat up and mushrooms and weird white people stuff, I was like, yo, I can rap about anything. When that came out, it made me stoked because I was like, all right, cool, I can do this. I can rap about whatever I want. I can rap about being a fucking peaceful hippie dude <laughs> in a rap. But anyways, yeah. I don't even know what the question was now. <laughs> favorite, favorite artists that you've toured with? There's a lot of different artists that I've toured with that are awesome, so that's hard. Crown. There's a lot of artists that I've toured with that I, that I really like, and there's a lot of cool people out there that I can't even believe that I tour with. But the favorite is really hard. If I had to say one, I would say Tech 9 was like the one that really like was cool and really like brought us around and showed respect and was super dope and did extra shit he didn't have to do at the time. So Tech probably and E-40 was super cool in the same way where they're so, E-40 was even like bigger at the time and he was fucking so cool still too. And to, to be that big and be that humble and treat you good, just a little, you know, a little white kid trying to rap and they treat you like a person and treat you really good, like that's cool. So probably those two dudes. Um, some of the most memorable moments from, I guess, your career or going on tour or memorable moments you remember from tour yeah we did a show in new york and it was on a twisted tour and it was uh it was the first time we ever been to new york to do a show because tech nine we had done tons of shows before that but tech nine never really went to new york we went everywhere else we didn't really go to the east coast as much east coast rap is a little different than west coast rap at the time so i was like damn are they gonna like what we're doing but it turned out to be one of the best shows in my entire life halfway through the show i remember the crowd was chanting pot luck pot luck pot luck so loud in the middle of the show we had to like stop the show and not even do the next song and it was just a super dope feeling to be in new york and get that response what happened with pot luck what happened with pot luck good question that's pretty much the question everyone asks me. It's a uh, it's kind of hard to answer because you don't know how to how to get into it and what you're supposed to say as far as like what's politically correct to say and what isn't. Like wh how far can you really go into it? So I guess a mystery to a point where it's like I don't really have to say anything, do I? But then it's like you know so many people ask after a while. It's like all right. Well, people stop being friends all the time. That's like normal. 
<laughs> I think. Well, I did music with someone for so long. We kind of grew apart. Our personalities were different. We just got to a point where it was just better to do our own thing. Ever since that day, everything's just felt better and been easier to like live and be myself and not worry about, I guess, come up with something where there's pressure on me to the point where I need to do what I'm supposed to do almost feel like. And so now I just do whatever the fuck I want to do and it feels better. And it, it, it's just something I had to do for myself because our personalities weren't working anymore. And I was, I was not happy. Like I wasn't happy and, I, and making music is supposed to be the best thing in the world, which it always has been. So once I got to the point where I wasn't happy, which was like the last few years, I was like, I can't, I can't wake up every day and not be happy. What kind of, what kind of life is that? So I had to make a change and it's hard to talk about because it's kind of like a relationship, like say you're with your girl or your girl's with your dude, whatever, any relationship. It's like after a while, it, it becomes your life. And so we were in a group for like 15 years. We went through so many things. I'm not saying shit was terrible because there was great times, but there was a lot of times that it wasn't cool. And at the end, it just got to the point where I wasn't happy. So at that point, it's such a big change for me when fans and different people ask that don't know that inside information about what was really going on. On, it's like yo I can't explain it all in a paragraph like it's it's impossible so basically I just be like look if, if I'm your homie and you like the music that I did and it helped you with something or you just like bumping it or you miss what potluck was or whatever it is it's kind of like imagine if your homie broke up with his girl or something and you were like yo that sucks man it was cool when you guys were together it's kind of like it's not cool though because it wasn't good for me at that point i had to get out of that relationship to become myself that's pretty much what happened without saying too much because it's kind of like if i asked you if you're my friend and and not even really that close of a friend you're like yo what happened with the girl you were with and you were like yeah it just didn't work out you'd stop there but people want to know so much more about it it's like yo I can't get into too much there's so much that I could get into but basically just know I wasn't happy and there was a lot of things going on that just made it not fun and music is supposed to be fun so here I am having fun in life again so it's better for me so hopefully people can not be like, yo, that sucks, that's fucking not there anymore. Hopefully they can take what it is, have that, live with that, love that, and then move on with me, and then we'll just keep having fun in a different way. That's where I'm at. Hopefully that explains a little. That's really all I can say. Besides music, like, what else are you doing in your life? Nothing, no. Besides music, um, of course, always kind of in the weed industry game or whatever you want to call it. Always trying to learn about new strains and new ways to grow. And Yeah, someone said, at what point do you harvest your crop? Um, harvesting crops is, you know, there's a million different ways. The hairs get a certain color, you know, it gets heavy and you're ready. You kind of just wait for that time where you know and different strains are all different. I personally feel like you get to the point when there's just a few little white hairs left most of the time. The bud starts getting getting heavy, you know that it's not going too far because the, you know, it still has that vibrant look to it and then you just, you're ready. All strains are a little bit different, but after years of doing it, you kind of get a feel for the best time to take it. All strains are different, so you just got to have the experience to figure it out. Favorite uh, strain to grow, harvest, and smoke? Strain wise, there's so many strains. There's so many good ones. CSI Humboldt is the, the dude that does a lot of breeding. I think he's the best breeder in the entire world. He's from Humboldt. He kills it. He murders it. He smashes it. All his strains are super dope. The Hello strain that me and Garth did, it was a really good one. The smoke was the best. The look of it isn't the best. Growing it isn't the best because it takes so damn long to finish. But when you can get to the end, the smoke is bomb. But if you want to do more of like, I want to get my shit done and get to the next and keep moving like most people want to do, I like this Mac is a pretty strain it smokes okay it grows okay but the look of it is unbelievable other strain that csi does is called a t1000 and he crosses that with all these other strains and all of the ones crossed with the t1000 is murderous and the u29 is one that i found this pheno that i love it's basically it's a cookie crossed with the t1000 i light this joint yeah oh i like this light that up when are you gonna zoom skype or have smoke sesh with some fans. You right should, now! You should just call somebody. Right now! Call, call Rob. Rob. Say, what's up, Rob? Rob. <laughs> call Rob's Rob. the man. Or, or just call somebody in the click real quick and say, what's up? In the click? Yeah. Right now? Yeah, do it. No. Say, what's up real quick? 
No, we'll do that a different day. But I will say, I'm working on a website where I can live stream more and just chill like this and talk shit to everybody and just be on there and say what's up way more because I've been slacking on that. Just because, life, having fun doing everything else and not having time to do because this shit takes time and energy, which I want to get back into. So I have a website coming out where we're going to have our own social media and we can talk shit on there and no one can stop us. No Facebook bullshit, no Zucker fucking all that. We can really um, chill and I will go and live stream on there a lot and we can kick it more. I miss the fans from not doing shows and that's COVIDness too. We're going to have to technology it out. I'll be doing that live stream and shit smoking weed more is the answer. The once COVID is over, mm. are you planning on doing any touring? Yeah. But I don't really want to tour like I did before because we used to tour all the time. We would go and grind six-week tours, 35 shows, and 45-day type shit where it's six shows a week and drive and tired and dying. It's like, I don't want to do that shit anymore, especially because at the level that I'm at, the tours aren't going to be the biggest tours where I'm in the most prettiest ways of moving. So it's not going to be comfortable. It's not even fun. Like, that shit's not fun. I love the people and I love doing shows. I love performing. and That's dope. But the in-between of that and figuring it all out, that shit's whack as fuck. What I want to at least try to get into maybe i'll get into more tours later what i'd rather just do now is just some one-offs here and there and some weed festivals and shit that's really what i want to try to get into um what's your favorite scary movie <coughs> that's a weird one i know <laughs> i'm going all one. over all I over the place that one. no but i don't i don't know if i have a favorite i know that that series that we watched the bates motel one oh it's not yeah, really bates. horror bates is my favorite it's like my <coughs> favorite out of everything we've watched it's a good one bates so the Bates is kind of a horror from the old school movie. It's not really that scary. It's kind of weird. But I remember when I was a kid, there was a movie called The Exorcist, and that, and that, that scared the shit out of me. So that was like, that's just a memorable scary movie. I don't really watch scary movies that much. I don't love them. I would watch them more if you liked them, but you don't even like them, so I don't even have a chance. The Exorcist, when the, the little girl gets possessed by the devil, and she starts talking with that devil voice. No. Oh, whenever there's ki whenever they have the little, even like It and the little boy, like, no. Yeah. It's the, the possessed kids. I don't like that shit. Yeah. So anyways, I just remember that. I don't know if I have a favorite horror movie. What, what do we got next? I don't want to talk about horror movies. I'm getting scared. <laughs> what is your favorite song you've made and why? I think it'll be better tomorrow. Got to be one the one that it comes to mind just because it's the one that I made by myself first where I had made songs in the past by myself to a point, but that was the first one that I did all everything, edited the video, put it out, and then people like the response that I got and then the YouTube fucking algorithm took the video to another level where I got a lot more fans and then four minute the four minute drill was super tight too. I felt like I did something that a lot of people haven't done and I don't think a lot of people can do, which is just hit record and rap for four minutes and it was fucking hard and then the video turned out super good you make it look easier than it is in the videos all the videos someone says mm. are you gonna do a smoke session for mm. smoke session one two and three i love doing those i'll definitely do a four this is the thing i always say what the fuck i want to do and then it, i don't 100 percent get it done but i want to so what i would love to do is finish my whole album now which is already pretty much done i just gotta figure out details on how to get it out what to do but good things take get time. that done don't be hard on yourself. Get, get, well, I gotta get that done hopefully by the end of the year or so. It's because you got so many things going on at once. I know, but I just want to, I just have ideas. So hopefully I'll get that done and then smoke session four, hopefully I can get done and put it out on 420. So that'd be tight. What do you do when you get down on your luck? Mm, that's a good one. I try to like feel it. I, actually, I try not to mask the feeling. I try to like go through the bad feeling. Not try to do any drugs. Not try to smoke more weed. Not try to, you know, sometimes smoking weed helps, but you got to be in the right space. Sometimes it makes it worse. Sometimes drinking makes it okay for a second, but you can't get caught up in bullshit and mask your feelings. So I always would try to just feel the pain of the issue. And then once you feel the pain and feel it through, then your luck will get better and the good things will start happening because life always does that. It goes in a circle, it's great, then it's fucked again, then it's great, then it's fucked again. Hopefully it's great more than it's fucked and you're good. It comes around. It always does. Someone said, how the fuck are you always smiling? Doesn't your cheeks <laughs> hurt? Cheek muscles get sore? <laughs> Being happy is what matters. Smiling makes people happy. I don't even mean to, but I'm just saying in general, if you're trying to be happy and that's what your life is and you want other people to be happy around you, what more is there? Shit ain't good though all the time, but I'm just saying for the most part, as much as you can, try to be happy, make the world happy and make everyone around you happy. What do you like uh, more, <laughs> boobs or butts? I used to like boobs more when I was young. 
<laughs> but now, I don't even care about those. Not things. fake boobs. Ooh, fake boobs can go. Fake boobs are terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I think. I personally, I mean, there's probably Boobs some good ones. There's probably some good ones, but, but, sorry. I thought we were supposed to get into it. I was trying to just answer the question. Uh, do all vaginas feel the same? <laughs> Um, that's a weird one. I think, um, that was not on Facebook. Yes, it was. Do all vaginas feel the same? Um, do all vaginas feel the same? I think it's a mental thing mostly, and then it's got a, it's, there's something to do with a wetness, I think. <laughs> What's this? You don't you have to go. the question. I, I said, does it feel the same? Yes or no? <laughs> you don't want the, you don't want all the way the answer? I mean, PG it. The question is a PG. <laughs> I'll just say, um, no. I mean, it depends because you never know. Maybe you got with someone at the wrong time. Maybe it could feel the same if it was a different moment. <laughs> Who knows? I don't fucking know. I'm just saying, like, no, they don't all feel the same at all times. Go next. Do you guys think differently of girls if they hook up on the first night? Hell yeah. They do? Hell yeah. I think that I think that a girl that would hook up with a dude that they just met that day are different than a girl that says I don't do that and like I I have to get to know the dude and we got to go out on hella dates first that's a, those are two different people. So yeah, it doesn't mean that anyone's worse than the other one's different, right? Plus I've been on tour so it doesn't count for me. It does it <laughs> It depends. <laughs> What's one thing in your music career you haven't done yet? There's nothing crazy that I want to do anymore. I did a lot of shit already where I feel good about it. And I just want to put out music now and just chill. Put out what I want to put out. Put it out how I want to put it out. Hopefully it'll do enough where I don't got to stress out and worry. Just do music and go. What about the album with Liquid? You still going to drop the... Liquid Assassin. Yeah. Liquid Assassin is the coolest dude. We did hella tours together. He can fucking rap dope. We get along super good. Like one of so, your BFFs? Yeah, one of my BFFs. We we already started it. We did like half of it. We just have our own lives and we just fucking have all different shit going on at the same time. So it's really just a, a thing still going ridiculously, I know. But it's just one of those other ideas that I had that will happen. But is this when the fuck will it happen? I don't know. The only way I make shit feel better for myself is when I say... Hey, Dr. J puts out an album every seven years, so then I start feeling better. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, Liquid album, we're still working on it. Hopefully they'll come out here one day soon. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> Spaghetti. Spaghetti? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd be hella fat, but I don't care. It'd be good. Who do you want to be more like? Is there options? No. Who do I want to be more like? Yeah, like... Do you look uh, up to anybody? I want to be more like, you know what, that's funny, and hopefully this doesn't sound conceited. I want to be more like me, and this is fucking weird to say, but I just want to be who I am and not be ashamed to be who I am. Like, I just want to be able to express how I feel, no matter if it's the right or wrong thing to do. Just not even think before I talk, which is was always my reason why I was quiet when I was little, or a reason why I have anxiety shit problems because when I was young and even not even young like forever I couldn't do speech class I couldn't fucking talk to you if I was in front of more than one if I was your friend I could kick and talk to you if I was in a group of people I'd get this weird feeling like damn I think it was always because I didn't know how I was supposed to be and I, I thought I was supposed to be a certain way but really I realized as I got older I'm just supposed to be who I am and I'm just supposed to represent who I am and what I feel and the more I can do that the better I feel and I really just want to put off like a vibe of getting along and, and respecting everybody for where they came from because everyone's from a different place, different religion, different look, different. they have a different aura, they have a different way of being. I try to just be cool with everyone and, and look at from their perspective and be like, yo, I appreciate you for just being in this world with me. Like, that's how I want to be. I just want to be, I just want to be as cool as I can with everybody. That's, that's kind of like the goal. Be real with myself and be real with everybody around me and just try to make everybody happy as possible. What do you find yourself more drawn to, brains or looks? Mm, some girl questions. I don't know. Sorry. What kind of girl questions? They want to know. Who looks? Who cares about brains? Don't sex with their brains. You're a liar. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> no, um, you gotta have both. Kind of like you gotta, have, you kind of gotta have to put both, but. I will say if you're just one nice stand and who cares about brains? I mean, you care about getting brain. <laughs> what do you think is your best feature? My best feature? 
Oh, we're gonna get pornographic now. <laughs> what? Just pornographic? Gonna... Yeah, what's your best feature about yourself? What do you think? Yeah, we would be getting pornographic at that point. <laughs> what the heck? I can't even answer. It's too good. Oh my god. You asked. I don't know where that came from either. No one said that on my Instagram. What is your best feature? <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, that's a question for you. What do you think your best feature is? You know. You know. <laughs> Now you are getting pornographic? No, not at all. What do you mean? What the fuck kind of question is that? The fuck wants to say who their best features? This dick! Like <laughs> if you had to give up alcohol or coffee, which one would you choose? Ooh, coffee. Give up coffee? I'd find something else. You can't, there's no, there's no replacing coffee. there's no replacing alcohol though. You gotta have that sometimes. Not all the time. Sometimes. Every once in a while. What part of the human body is your favorite? <laughs> What the fuck? Got weird people who yeah. are asking you What stuff. part of the human body is my favorite? Yeah. I don't know. That's weird. Someone the said, fingers. <laughs> Someone said, would you rather look like a potato or feel like a potato? <laughs> <laughs> feel like one. What's your favorite fast food chain? In and out. In and out? Yeah, yeah. You In-N-Out. haven't even went to the new In and Out. I've been to In and Out, but it's my favorite. I don't like fast food. Okay. I can't eat fast food anymore. It's fucking terrible. I had enough on tour and never, never need to eat fast food again. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? No. <laughs> Oh, let me tell you. I don't think I've done shit crazy. Any wild things you ever did in any hotel room? No. Wildest thing in a hotel room? Never. There could have been things I did when I was drunk, but I don't remember. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? <laughs> you know what mine would be? What? Why? Is that dumb? Is that a dumb question? I... That's the question I asked. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what superpower I want to have? What the hell? Yeah, you know what mine would be? Breathing underwater, because my fear is drowning so i would breathe underwater but go invisible fly all, anyway which one would you pick flying sounds good <laughs> <laughs> flying would be cool what we're done yeah okay the questions have been answered i guess we did a lot of the questions i try to keep them short but i ramble sometimes <laughs> <laughs> sorry i rambled so much but yes it was fun hanging out appreciate it maybe we'll do a part two appreciate y'all <laughs> what other questions do you could you even have after that <laughs> You know my whole life now in fucking 20 minutes. You know all about me. You know everything I care about. You know I like I like butts better than boobs. <laughs> you know my number one feature. <clears throat> what do people say on the YouTube videos? Like, comment, and subscribe down below. <laughs> like, comment, if, and subscribe. If you didn't subscribe, hit the subscribe <laughs> button. No, no, no. Comment no. down below. Smash that, Smash like, that button. like button. Smash that like button. Y'all right, right. right. Gonna be right Peace here. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>